Welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play the piano accompaniment or how it could be played for Spaceman by Sam Ryder and he is this year's UK entry for Eurovision. So I'm going to teach you how you could play it on the piano today. So just quickly, I've listened to many versions of him performing this live and the pianist uh, doesn't play the same thing every time, it's not the same arrangement every time. So this is generally what's going on, these are the right chords, but again whichever live version you listen to it's just different every time. So I've done my best. The full chords and lyrics are linked down below. So I'm going to teach you the whole song. I'll sing just as a reference. This is not going to be for beginners, I'm afraid. So this one's in a key of B major. So on the screen now, all the notes are the scale of B major. So we've got five sharps. So here is middle C as a reference if you look at that pitch on your keyboard or piano. So again, this is my arrangement of amalgamation of what I've listened to him performing it. So the first chord is an E major. I'll teach both hands at the same time, blue and orange. So we've got E major root position. So E, the left hand, and then E, G sharp and B. And then we're gonna play B major. First inversion in the right hand, so B in the left hand, and then D sharp, F sharp, B in the right hand and then we have D sharp major sometimes the D7 is used which I think sounds really good in the live version so if you want to play just D sharp major it's D sharp in the left hand with D sharp technically this would be called an F double sharp but we're just going to call it a G and then A sharp but if you want to add the seventh in there change the D sharps to a C sharp and then we have D, G sharp minor, so G sharp in the left hand, and then second inversion of G sharp minor in the right hand. So that's D sharp, G sharp, and B. So we'll go over that again. So E major, B major, D sharp or D sharp seven, and then G sharp minor. So sometimes it starts off by breaking up these chords. So I'm just going to reference that I know that it's doing that. <laughs> but to make this easier, and again, sometimes the live versions, a lot of live versions don't do that at all. Um, so I'm just going to play them as straightforward chords, so it's easy to sing over as well. So we do that twice. I was an astronaut, I'd be floated in midair and a broken heart would just belong to someone else down there and then it changes in this next part so still keeping it up here but then the E major chord again we play the B major chord in the left hand again but this time with an F sharp in the bass which is a split chord we play the D sharp major chord again this time with the G in the bass, another split chord, and then into the G sharp minor chord, which is the same, and we play that again but with an F sharp in the bass this time, it's like a passing chord. So I'll just do all that again, so E major, B over F sharp, D sharp over G, and then G sharp minor, G sharp minor for F sharp. And then this, we've got E major again. And then we turn that to E minor, so the G sharp becomes just a G. And then B major, you can play it like that, or you can play it down here. I've tried to set in stone a bit more what I'm teaching, but you can play around with inversions if you want to. So that last bit goes. And I would be the centre of my only universe but I'm only human and I'm crashing down to earth so it starts if I was an 
astronaut floating in midair in a broken heart what just belong to someone else down there I would be the center of my lonely universe but I'm only human and I'm crashing down to earth and then we do almost do all of that again because it's for the second verse. Sometimes the second part of this verse is cut out and he doesn't perform it. It's like the radio edit version, but we're going to include it. So we're going to come down here and play more full chords. Sometimes when I'm playing octaves in my left hand, my lowest notes will sometimes be out of shot, but I'm just playing the, the note lower than what my thumb is playing. So we have E major. You can play exactly the same as we've just played it. In terms of the inversions that are up here but when I've listened to other ones the inversions seem to be different um, so I'm gonna do it differently but you can again keep it the same if you want and literally just play everything that you've played up there an octave lower so I'm gonna play E major second inversion this time with octaves in the left hand we can't stretch octaves of course just play singular notes so it's B E G sharp and I'm gonna play them twice and then we have B major, root position, so it's B, D sharp, F sharp, the D sharp 7 chord, or just D sharp, this or this, and then G sharp minor with the F sharp bass change. So I'll do that again. If I was an astronaut, I'd have of the playing pattern so I'm going together right left together right left together right left together together do that again a circle around the world and I keep coming back to you so this next part we have all the split chords so we've got E major again B over F sharp, D sharp over G, G sharp minor with the F sharp, E major, turn the G into a G natural to get E minor, and then B major. I'm in space. So from the beginning, if I was an astronaut, I'd be floating in midair In a broken heart that would just belong to someone else down there I would be the center of my lonely universe But I'm only human and I'm crashing down to earth if I to the chorus so it's a lot of similar chords we've already used so we have this E major chord again that we had second inversion and then we're gonna play G sharp minor over D sharp so a lot of split chords in this song so all you're gonna do is change the E's to D sharps twice and then C sharp minor which is C sharps in the left hand, so we didn't have this chord before, and then C sharp, E, G sharp in the right hand, one and two and three and, and then we've got this, this like chromatic, dramatic <laughs> lead up. So both hands are just gonna play C sharp, So, so far we have a map in space. And then, it's 
instead of doing the da 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 da, you're gonna play the C sharp minor twice and then B major chord. So this is sometimes this is performed live, sometimes that B chord isn't there. So again, I'm just putting in what I think sounds good. So we almost do that chord progression twice. Again, the chords are on the screen. Make sure you're t taking notes. Pause the video. Slow the video down work on one section at a time, etc. So, so far we have a muffin space So the next bit, we've got a new chord. So F sharp major, so F sharp in the left hand, then F sharp, A sharp, C sharp in the right hand. And then we have this D sharp chord over G again. And in the right hand we have G or F double sharp, and then A sharp and D sharp. And then we've got this quicker succession of chords. So from I've searched around the universe. So we've got G sharp minor for one beat. So it's G sharp, B, and D sharp. B major, which we've already done for one beat. C sharp minor for one beat. And then we've got this again. Lead up into the E major twice. we change the right hand to a B major, the left hand to D major, and then we've got a new chord, so C sharp major, so it's a, this is an inversion, so C sharp major is C sharp, E sharp, so and it's another name for an F, E has to be sharpened, and then G sharp, but we're going to play it G sharp, C sharp, E sharp, slash F. So what we've done so far from the F sharp. This is a major chord with the second in the bass. So this is E major, but G sharp, B, and E. So first inversion. And the left hand, you're going to play F sharp. It's a nice resolving chord. Into B major. The reason why I've played B major here now, in second inversion, D sharp, F sharp, B, is because if we have this little bit at the end of the first chorus so it's just E and G sharp and then D sharp and F sharp. All of the chorus then goes like this. I'm up in to the second verse which is the same as the second half of the first verse so the chords are on the screen I'm not gonna play it any differently if I Into the chorus. I'm up in space
time of build, building up the B chord instead of playing the... So it builds up the B chord. Into the bridge. So let's have a look at the bridge. So we've got G sharp minor, which we had before. And then we're going to turn the G sharps into just Gs. So this gives us G augmented. And then we turn the Gs into F sharps, always keeping a B and a D sharp in the right hand. So this is B major over F sharp, second version of B major over F sharp. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then this chord, so left hand plays an F, and the right hand is playing that C sharp major chord. So it's uh, G sharp, C sharp. So it's a split chord, F sharp over C. You do all that chord progression again, G sharp minor, G augmented, B over F sharp, C sharp over F. And then we have an E major chord, one, two, three, four, to the C sharp major chord. So with C sharp in the bass this time, F sharp, what we have at the end of the chorus, one, two, three, four, and then we turn the right hand to F sharp major. Again, what we have in the chorus as well. So there's only one new chord there really, which is the G augmented chord. So I'll just demonstrate the bridge then. Gravity keeps pulling me So now I'm going to come up for this the first part of this sort of last chorus, which is quite a lot longer than the first than the other two. I'm going to play it the same as the chorus, but just the first three chords an octave higher. So the E major. I'm in space, man. And then we come and do this bit in the lower octave where it's normally played. And then all the chords from the screen. sort of singing oh, I'm in the wrong place man after C sharp major it off, we're going to play the chord progression an octave higher. I've searched around the universe, been through some black holes, there's nothing but space, man. And I want to go home. You can do a little flourish. So the last chorus goes, so after the bridge.
So that's the end of this video. If you would like to leave a request, leave them in the comments section below of this video. I've also left some videos here that I think you might like, so go and check those out as well. I also have a course. Visit bitesizepianocourse.co.uk and you can enrol and start learning how to read music. I'll see you in the next video.